Good morning, grade six students. Welcome to our class for today. This is Teacher Shai. And today we will be having, or we will be talking about a story, a bedtime story. Now, before we start, please type your English name and number in our comment section. Again, uh, English name, pasaangkrit, name and number in our comment section. All right, so again, today we will be having a story time, okay? And the title of our story is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. All right, so do you know, have you heard about the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Yes or no? No? Okay, so to, uh, for today, we will be watching yeah, we will watch the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and then we will answer, or I will help you answer your answer sheet. All right, so without further ado, let's watch na and listen to our story. Okay. Watch and listen. Watch and listen. <laughs> this is the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl with golden curly hair whose name was Goldilocks. One day, Goldilocks was playing near her home when she saw a butterfly. She tried to catch it, but the butterfly flew away. So Goldilocks chased it right down the path and into the forest. Soon Goldilocks was lost, but then she saw a small house in the middle of the woods. Hmm, said Goldilocks. I'm sure whoever lives here will help me find my way back. Goldilocks knocked on the door three times. Knock, knock, knock. And on the third knock, the door swung open. I don't think anyone is home. Then she smelled a delicious smell and her tummy rumbled loudly. So she decided to go inside. On the table in the small house were three bowls of porridge. One large bowl, one medium bowl and one small bowl. Goldilocks was very hungry. I'm sure whoever lives here won't notice if I have a little bit of this porridge. First, Goldilocks tried a spoonful from the large bowl. Oh my! This porridge is too hot! Next, Goldilocks tried a spoonful from the medium bowl. Ew! This porridge is too cold! Finally, Goldilocks tried a spoonful from the small bowl. Mm. This porridge is just right. The porridge in the small bowl was so delicious that she ate it all up. Goldilocks was very tired, so she went into the living room and found three chairs. There was a great big wooden chair, a medium pink chair, and a small blue chair. I'm sure whoever lives here won't mind if I rest for a little while. First, Goldilocks sat in the great big wooden chair. Oh my! This chair is not comfortable at all. Next, Goldilocks sat in the medium pink chair. She sank deep into the cushions. Ugh, this chair is too squishy. Finally, Goldilocks sat in the small blue chair. Ah, this chair is just right. Just as she settled into the small chair, crack, it broke into pieces right under her. Uh-oh. Maybe I should just lie down instead. So Goldilocks went upstairs to a bedroom where she found a great big bed, a medium bed, and a tiny little bed. I'm sure whoever lives here won't mind if I take a short nap. First, she lay in the great big bed. Oh my, this bed is too hard. Next, she lay in the medium bed. This won't do, this bed is too soft. Finally, Goldilocks lay in the smallest bed. It was the perfect size for a young girl. 
This bed is just right. Goldilocks pulled the blanket over her and soon fell asleep. At the same time, a family of three bears came home to their little house in the woods. They were very surprised to see that the front door was already open. It looks like someone has been eating my porridge, said Papa Bear as he looked into his large bowl. It looks like someone has been eating my porridge too, said Mama Bear as she looked into her medium bowl. Someone has definitely been eating my porridge. It's all gone, cried Baby Bear as he looked into his empty small bowl. The three bears went into the living room to find out who ate their porridge. I think someone has been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. I think someone has been sitting in my chair too, said Mama Bear. Someone has definitely been sitting in my chair, cried Baby Bear. And they broke it to pieces. And so the three bears went upstairs to find out who had been sitting in their chairs. I believe someone has been sleeping in my bed, said Papa Bear. I believe someone has been sleeping in my bed too, said Mama Bear. Someone has definitely been sleeping in my bed, cried Baby Bear. And she's still here. The three bears roared, and Goldilocks woke up very suddenly at the sight of three angry bears. The little girl jumped up out of her bed and ran down the stairs, through the kitchen, and right out the front door. Goldilocks ran and ran until she was out of the woods and all the way home. From that day on, she never, ever went back into the forest. And the three bears never, ever saw Goldilocks again. The end. Remember to please like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated on all our new videos. Bye! That was the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. All right, so again, though it's the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now, who are the people or who are the characters of our story? Who are the characters of our story? Characters means people. Who are there in our story? So we have four characters right so we have the first one goldilocks all right so as you see goldilocks has has got a golden hair okay golden hair so first we have goldilocks and then we have mama bear then we have papa bear and the baby bear all right, so again, our characters were are Goldilocks, Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and Baby Bear. All right, now, what happened in our story? What happened to the story? Mm -hmm. All right, so now let us review again. What happened in the story? All right, so once upon a time, Goldilocks saw a small house, a small house, this one, a small cottage in the forest, okay, in the forest. This is the forest. Then she knocked three times, right? One, two, three, and then the door opened. And then she smelled, she smelled a very delicious smell. And then we have here three three bowls three bowls of porridge right one two three yandang very nicely okay never mind all right so we have one two and then three okay so first goldilocks tasted the first bowl she don't like it she tasted the second bowl. She don't like it as well. And then she ate. She tried the third bowl, which is just right. And she ate it all. Uh huh. Next, when Goldilocks finished eating, he went to the living room. What is the living room? Mm -hmm. The living room is where you watch TV, right? Where you relax. 
Now go to Lux again, three, saw three chairs, saw three chairs. This one we have number one, second, and then third. Now Goldilocks sat on the first chair and she don't like it. Nope. She sat on the second chair and again, she don't like it. It's too squishy. Then she sat on a, she sat on the third chair, which is just right. Okay. Next, Goldilocks got really tired. What is tired? Ah, Goldilocks got really tired. And then she went upstairs to the bedroom. What is the bedroom? Bedroom is where you sleep. Okay, she went to the bedroom. She first lay, she first lay down to the first on the first bed, but she don't like it. She, she tried the second bed. She don't like it as well. She tried the third bed and it's just right. It was just right. Okay, then Goldilocks fell asleep, right? Now, oh, fifth scene. Okay, again, 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 again. All right, so again, what happened? The first one, Goldilocks saw a cottage. Number two, she saw, she saw three bowls of porridge and ate the third one. Number three, she went to the living room and saw three chairs. She sat on the third chair. She sat on the small chair. Then she went to the bedroom and then she slept in the Third chair, a uh, third chair, third bed. Okay. Now, number five, the three bears, which is Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear, came back home. Now, when they came back home, they saw the door was opened. What's okay? They saw the door was opened, and then they saw that the baby bears, the baby bears bowl, that someone ate the porridge in baby bears bowl. Okay, now again, they went back home and then they saw that someone has been eating their porridge and it eat all of baby bears porridge, all right? And then when they went to the living room, Number seven, they went to the living room. They saw that someone sat on their chairs and someone broke baby bear's chair. Uh -huh. Next one, number eight, they went upstairs to the bedroom. And then there they saw Goldilocks sleeping on baby bear's bed. Now Goldilocks woke up to three angry bears because she ate the porridge, she broke the chair. So mama bear, baby bear, and papa bear are angry. Uh-huh. Goldilocks run out of the house. She run through the forest and she came back home. And after that, Goldilocks did not see the three bears again, and the three bears did not see Goldilocks again. The end. Okay. All right. So in our activity sheet, again, now this is the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. What happened in the story? Okay. So what you're going to do here is what you're going to do here is sequence, okay? Sequence means you're gonna write number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, six, seven, eight, nine, according to what happened. So for example, now in our story again, once upon a time, number one, once upon a time, Goldilocks saw 
a house in the middle of the forest. She saw a house. Ah. Now, once upon a time, there was a girl named Goldilocks. Goldilocks saw a little house. This is number one. Now, what a picture shows that Goldilocks show, what picture shows that Goldilocks saw a small house? What a picture shows that Goldilocks, Goldilocks saw a small house. Uh huh. I guess this is number one. <laughs> okay, let's try now number one. Next. She went inside. Ah, oh, she went inside the small house. Now, what a picture shows that she went in. She went in the small house. Ah, you write number two. Now, Goldilocks saw a table with three bowls of porridge. Goldilocks saw a table with three bowls of porridge. That is number three. Bowls of porridge. Mm -hmm. She tasted the third bowl. She tasted the third bowl. Okay, so saw three bowls. That number three, what happened? It was just right, and she ate it all up. Goldilocks saw three chairs, and she sat on the third chair. The third chair, and it was just right. Mm -hmm. That is number four. Oops. Oh no, it broke. Oh. When Goldilocks sat on a third chair, it broke. Just like what we saw earlier, Shimai. Just like what we saw earlier, it broke. Uh huh. But that is num not number four. Ah, uh, it this. Oh, sorry. This chair broke. So that is ah uh, number four. Ah uh, no. Oh no. It broke. That is number five. Goldilocks went upstairs and she saw three beds. She saw three beds. That is number six. Mm -hmm. She tried the third bed and it was just right. Mm -hmm. She fell asleep. Okay, that is number seven. Okay, she lay down, she fell asleep on the third or in the third bed. Okay, and then the three bears came back home. The three bears came home. That's number eight. They saw Goldilocks on the bed. Uh-huh, they saw Goldilocks in the bed. And just like in our story, Shemai, they were very angry. And then when Goldilocks woke up, she ran back home. They saw Goldilocks on the bed and then Goldilocks ran home. This is number nine, okay? Just like what we did in number one and number two, sequence, okay? Write the number, okay, according to what happened. So again, I already wrote the numbers here in your story so what you're gonna do is just you need to find the picture that shows what happened okay my all right so if you have more questions or if you did not understand what happened in our story you can watch again the story you can watch again the goldilocks and the three bears on youtube i will include the links in in this class and then you can watch it again and again and again all right so thank you everyone and see you again next time bye bye